Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS. Today I've got a quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how you can add items in the App Store and iTunes Store to your wish list. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, if you've used Amazon or eBay, you may have used this feature before. And essentially, what it lets you do is save items such as apps or songs or TV shows or whichever other items you are looking at and it allows you to save them for future viewing so perhaps you might want to save say an app if it's currently not on offer and you want to perhaps wait for it to turn free so you save it to your wish list and then you can keep going back to your wish list to make sure and check whether it's free so the way you can add items to your wish list is by going to the iTunes store or app store I'm going to use the iTunes store for this demo if I go into the iTunes store and just select any items I'm just going to select this one here and to add it to your wish list, what you can do is just hit the share button in the top right hand corner, it's now highlighted on the screen, and hit that. And at the bottom here, you'll see it says add to wish list. So I'm just going to hit that now. And it's now added it to my wish list. So now if I hit the icon next to the sharing button, so hit that, and it will load my wish list. Now, this is the only thing I've got in my wish list at the moment. It's the one I just added. So I can click on it and it will take me to that specific item in the wish list. So if I want to go ahead and buy it, I can do it straight from there. Now, you also notice I've got two other tabs. I've got Siri. Now, what this essentially is, is when you ask Siri what a song is, Siri will actually add that song to the iTunes wish list. So you can go back to it after and it will just click on previews here and you can see all the different songs that you've previewed on iTunes so that is how you can view all your items obviously you can hit edit and tick ones you want to get rid of and you can just hit delete and it will get rid of them so if you want to manage them you can obviously do it like that and then hit done once you've finished but that is essentially it for adding items to your iTunes or App Store wish list now you do have a separate wish list for each store so you will get a separate one for the iTunes store and a separate one for the App Store but they both work in exactly the same way but anyway that's it for this quick tip video if you have any questions or comments put them down below or use the details in the description of the video to decide on how you want to get in contact with me don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up please also remember to subscribe to get more weekly quick tips Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.